Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to use data tables in Unreal Engine 5. Now, data tables are a very versatile way of, you know, storing data such as statistics or something like that. Now, if you guys have any questions or suggestions related to the video or anything else, you guys can go ahead and join my Discord server. And if you guys do wish to support me, you guys could donate over at my Patreon. Link to that as well is down in the video description. So, first of all, in order to use a data table, we'll need a structure. And you will understand why pretty soon. So, go to Blueprint, Structure. And let's just assume that we are creating a data table for, you know, statistics of a few character classes. So let's just call it S underscore character stats. So let's say for example, we have a display name field. Now the reason I'm not just calling it name is because we can have a different identifier and a different name which is displayed on the screen. So that is there. You will know that once we create the table and let's say we have something else. So let's say we have some attack points or something. So let's say this is going to be a float and maybe one for defense. Again, depends on your context. I'll just add one more. So let's say for example, we store something else. Mm, let's say an integer and Let's just call it, let's say, some sort of number which is on their clothing. So let's just call it number. So stuff like that, you can have any heterogeneous data. Now, right click and go to miscellaneous data table and go ahead and select your struct, which is S character stats. And let's just call this one character stats table open it up and as you see each of your structure members so that is whatever you had display name attack defense all of these are actually columns in your data table now using these attributes you can go ahead and add as many characters as you want so let's say for example i had i add a character let's say i call him you know let's say john and Let's say for display name, let's have something else. You can go ahead and edit it down over here. You can call him Johnny maybe. And attack, let's say it's 10. Maybe defense is 2. And let's say his number is 7. Alright. We can go ahead and add one more row. Let's call this one, hmm, let's say Robert. And for the display name, we can have it as Rob. And maybe let's give him like 20 on attack and maybe 5 on defense and let's give him a number 10. So you can go on adding as many characters as you want. You can use it for stuff such as weapon systems where you'd have like an AK-47, an M4, a sniper rifle of some sort and so on. You can have infinitely many weapons. So that's what you'd use it for. Now as per the actual usage of data tables. You can use it anywhere, so you can access them anywhere in Blueprint. So for example, I'll just do it on begin play. So I'll just save this map because this is the default one. This is a new project which I created. So we can access it by using row. If you type row, you're going to get this node called get data table row. This is what will allow you to access a row from any given data table. You can select your character stats and as you can see, we have access to the rows. So let's say I wanted the stats of Robert. I can go ahead and break this and I can go ahead and print his attack. This is just an example. And if your row is not found, you can go ahead and handle it accordingly. So let's go ahead and press play. So as you see, we get 20. And let's say we print that for John. As you see, we get 10. There are also a few more operations. So if I just type in data table once again, as you see, there are a few functions which are over here. One more handy function is going to be get data table row names. So let's say you had some sort of a menu where you'd select your character. So what you would do is you would use this node and you do a for each loop. 
and then you would get so you would get uh, get data table row from our character stats table and what we'll do is we are going to go ahead and use this struct over here to maybe you know create a menu or a drop down or something so we'll use the data which we receive from here that's basically it so let's say i just print out the display names for all just select the table over here now if i go ahead and press play as you can see we get rob and johnny so that's basically it guys this is a gist of how to actually use data tables they're pretty handy how you use them depends completely upon you. I've just given you guys a basic idea of how they work. So if you guys have any questions, you can ask them on my Discord anyways. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up. And make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.